Nick, you kind of surprised us yesterday with the announcement that, well, there's actually life after the TBM 850. Can you discuss what's going to be happening with NTX? Well, Jim, the uh, NTX stands for New Twin at Sukara, and uh, we wanted to have an aircraft that is uh, going faster than the TBM, that is bigger, and at least we want to have two more seats, two more passenger seats. So we are uh, exploring a program that can take the lead of the TBM 850. And what kind of development timeline might we expect for this program? Well, there are a certain number of conditions, obviously, to launch a project. And uh, at Sukara, we'd like to uh, close fundings before we get forward. And uh, we have to have uh, an engine. We have to have avionics. We have to have smart ideas, the right design, and test you know, with customers, samples, focus group, so that uh, we don't make any mistakes. All right. It's been an interesting year for you. At, uh, we just finished a piece flying the TBM 850, which certainly is the state of the art when it comes to single engine turboprop. Well, can you discuss what kind of year you've had and what you're looking forward to in 2009? Jim, 2008 has been record years. Uh, record years in terms of sales, deliveries, backlog. So this program has never been to that level ever. Uh, we are going to deliver this year 60 aircraft. Uh, we are planning to on 65 aircraft next year. So, so far 2009 is looking good. We have customers that are fortunately a little bit less uh, sensitive to the economy changes. Mm -hmm. They need the aircraft and they like the TBM because it's the ultimate personal use. Well, you would think that you'd be a little bit recession-proof with an airplane as economical, all things considered, a 320-knot airplane that burns practically nothing in the way of Jet A, especially at flight levels. That is correct. Uh, the efficiency is something that we believe strongly at Sukata. TBM 850 is really delivering that kind of efficiency for, the, for our customers. And the uh, real thing that we see in 2008 is some of the big guys coming down, looking at our airplanes, and actually a big surprise on, okay, first we wanted to have a 200 nautical miles aircraft, but they say, well, 600 nautical miles, it does it well. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its detailed design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. We were very impressed by the integration of the Garmin cockpit into the 850. It was as low a workload as we've seen in this iteration of aircraft. I would assume you were looking at SVT with great interest. What other technologies might we see incorporated in future TBM aircraft? Well, the first thing, having chosen Garmin, the G1000 as our uh, old fly deck solution, uh, SVT is the next evolution, we, which we expect earlier next year, uh, and we are looking to any evolutions that Garmin decides to do. EVS is one of them, so that's uh, going to provide uh, safety features uh, by providing infrared. Uh, we need Garmin's contribution to put the uh, screen inside uh, one of their uh, PFD or MFD. Uh, but we also look at uh, other evolution on the avionics side uh, that could uh, be on the maintenance side, I would say. You're in an industry where there's an incredible amount of hype over small jet aircraft. Some of it deserved, some of it definitely not. How do you compete with a turboprop when you're up against the quote-unquote sex of the jets? It is tough because now you have to be reasonable. <laughs> and <laughs> the turboprop is really a reason as opposed to pride. Well, we don't want to fight with that. Uh, we respect that people like to go jet. And uh, in, that, in, that, in that matter, I think we have wonderful opportunities in the market. But once they start to think a little bit smarter and fuel is becoming a subject, uh, the TBM 850 makes a lot of sense. Is there growth in the 850? Will we see a 900? We don't know that. Uh, we have to test that. We have to have the right engine. We have to work you know, in collaborations with the engine manufacturer, with the propeller manufacturer. Do we want to look at this area? Yeah, we'd love to. Is it a plan as, as we speak? No. 
you've certainly maximized just about the best you can find from Garmin and the best you can find from Pratt at this point. It's uh, it really is a lovely airplane. We just had an extraordinary opportunity to fly it and thoroughly enjoyed every moment of it, and especially in the hands of a pilot who knew it so well. But as well as an aircraft flies or performs, there's that other little item supporting it in the field. That's a that's a killer for a lot of companies, and I know that's got to be a very difficult, especially an international company like yours, to be able to support airplanes all over the world. We've made the service part of our strategy. I was heading the uh, uh, customer service division before I took sales, uh, which is mainly my background mainly because we wanted to have special focus on our customers. We have put uh, here in this country what I call the field rep service, which is uh, going on site, providing customer assistance anytime there is a problem that, that arises. Uh, we strongly believe that an aircraft can be as good as you can, but if you cannot, if you, anything breaks, and if you cannot support it, that's wrong. Sukata is definitely committed to uh, customer support, and we have made tremendous investment in that area. Okay, we are cleared for our approach. Have our Garmin GPS set up to fly the LPV. And look, here comes the glide path. Now you're probably wondering how we can intercept a glide path when there's no ILS on the field. Well, hey, that's the beauty of WASP GPS. No ILS, no localizer, no problem. WASP gives us full vertical guidance even without ground-based navbase. Okay, next you're probably wondering why there's spit all over your side of the windshield. <laughs> In support, number one, you have to design right. It took us some time to get the G1000 out because we wanted to test it you know, to a certain extent. First, you have to make sure that it breaks as little as possible. That's the first challenge, and it comes down to engineering. The second thing is obviously to have uh, parts availability, and we do have stock in the U.S., we do have stock in France, so we are able to ship all around the world in a timely manner. That's basically what we have to do. Then we have to have the right explanation because if we don't have the right technical people, we just cannot get the right part to the right place. Piper, for instance, is making a big deal out of the fact that they have people graduating from Malibu, Meridian, and so forth up through their turboprop series uh, all the way to what will be their single engine jet. Do you see the TBM community embracing NTX? We will see to some extent, but I think that the NTX is going to be a bigger aircraft and it will solely separate from the personal market, which is the core market for the TBM850. So we are going to go a little bit more on traditional uh, corporate market where you have a little bit of uh, uh, personal use and uh, business use. What kind of timeline, and I realize that things are still very much in flux, but where might we see decisions made that will give us more of a definition of the NTX program? We definitely would like to be able to announce in 2009 more on the subject. Uh, will it be a launch decision? We hope so. But uh, again, as I said, we have certain prerequisites that we need to meet before we can get a little bit further in this program. But in the meantime, we're still working on it. <laughs> Well, once again, we thank you for all your time here, especially the time you uh, allowed us to spend with the 850 the other day. And any time you have one of those airplanes around doing nothing, call me. Well, we can have you on a ferry flight anytime, Jim. You know that. Deal. Thank you, sir. Thank you.